I am studying to become an electrical engineer and the reason I chose to study to become an electrical engineer is because I heard it was one of the highest paying jobs at that time, right? <laughs> now, I have heard from many older and wiser persons that um, you must work and do what you love over what just, um, what just brings you money, right? And I am sure that um, many of you in here probably have done sociology or understand what a functional society is, where the concept of a functional society is that everyone in the society has a role to play. So even the lower persons or the poor persons in society are necessary. So no matter what, you cannot really get rid of them. And what the question I am trying to put forward is why does the government not like give out a list of indicators or things that they need for development in the country because as a student now I am studying to become an electrical engineer but I might leave the island and then that would contribute to um to brain drain right a very good presentation and I think so, you have hit some of the pertinent points that we ought to address in fact as was mentioned earlier one of the things we're looking at at the, the labor market reform commission is to have this national repository of labor market information and a website, a central database where all persons can just go to and see what is happening in the labor market. In the interim, however, I think the Ministry of Labor, they do have a labor market um, system portal. Uh, they, they will give you the, the web address for that, but I can give you one for the Heart Trust NTA. LMIP.heart dash nta.org and you will go and see the skills in demand the areas that we have researched for example ICT has been one of the areas that has dripped that has uh, allowed for a lot of development to happen in animation logistics and business process outsourcing you will find information there uh, one of the things we have done at the Heart Trust NTA is to increase introduce what we call the mobile career coach, and I don't know if some of you might be seeing it around Kingston, driving to various communities, schools, career fairs, trying to give information on what the labor market is saying, and to address the issue, which the report did address actually, about skills mismatch, because a lot of us are trading in the traditional areas and not paying attention to what the labor market is saying. The logistics hub is coming on, tourism is coming on, animation is coming on. You know, what are we doing to prepare the workforce to take advantage of those particular uh, jobs that are coming on? So, by way of this labor market reform system that is coming, this national repository will answer that question in a huge way. But in the interim, we can provide guidance. And you need to talk to me afterwards to find out. The labor market information system from the Ministry of Labor, um, I remember when it started and it went to its several different mutations. It is one of the most advanced in the region, in the region and in the Americas actually. Part of the issue, PS, is that it questions like the one that the young man is asking would not be asked had we got a little bit more publicity. And the website though is www.lmis.gov.jl.